Republicans can figure this out, we can do it in Wisconsin. So, maybe. Time for reform is right now. I think I've made my case. Eight and a half million a year cash just to the counties for the contract beds. The estimates for a new prison are upwards of $300 million just for construction. And that does not include the multiple million dollars that it would take to operate that prison each year. $23,000 today. $23,000 tomorrow and Tuesday until we solve this problem. And the, the, that's money going out of our pocket and not going to places where we need it. So, the next steps, repurpose Lincoln Hills, reform the crimeless revocation, expand urban release, uh, save money, reduce crime, and, and solve an immediate problem of prison overcrowding. Each of these bills has been introduced. They each have bipartisan support. The idea of closing Lincoln Hills is continuing to evolve after the governor's announcement. But I'm very excited because today, unlike a few years ago, I think we at least have their attention, their attention being the majority party. This is a problem that we cannot ignore. 23,000 a day, and we're right at the edge of the cliff where inmate 501 is going to have to go somewhere other than the state of Wisconsin. We don't need to build a new prison. We don't need to send that man out of state. We need to reform. Uh, thank you for the time. And